name is Melanie J. Nicholas, and welcome to the Wealth Talk Wednesday show. I am the founder and CEO of World of Wealth Group and Kids Wealth International Club, and today we have uh, Tara McCallan today. How are you, Tara? Awesome. Thanks. How are you? I'm doing well. So, so we actually do these interviews. Our mission is to empower small business owners to reach financial freedom, which means their passive income is greater than their chosen lifestyle by giving them the entrepreneurial and business mindset, knowledge, and tools so that they can live a life of abundant wealth as leaders making a positive difference in the world with values of faith, family, fitness, finance, fun. And so Tara, I thought was a great way to actually start the new year. Um, she's actually uh, been one of my energy coaches, you can say, um, has helped me through some of my different experiences in life. And I thought that this would be a great way to start the new year and find out some, you know, some, some tricks as to how to better our energy, our relationships, and our lives when it comes to health and just creating the life that we desire. So um, just a little bit about Tara. Tara is an international artist, best-selling author, speaker, and natural healing advocate. She has a capacity to see with clarity, acknowledgement, people's talents, and possibilities. Without a space of judgment, she creates massive expansion and healing for the people she plays with. Her work is not linear at all, nor is it conventional. Tara has seen much impact for change as well as healing from her coach energy group, art classes for individuals or groups. Other times it is through commissioned personalized painting that showcases the essence of your being or through a private body process session with creation and coaching. She tends to help people takes one pivotal step, which creates a spherical ripple effect throughout their lives. To, all, to her, all life is about energy, isn't it, right? <laughs> energy, life is energy. Color and acknowledgement, through those things, so much can change, bloom, expand. So whether you are looking for a custom piece of art, ease with your body, your relationships to be fun and nurturing, or your business to grow exponentially from the space of fun and ease, she has your back and is a shining light on the stepping stones to the life that you always hoped possible. Amazing. And I've actually experienced Tara through several aspects of that, which, you know, I'll go into a little bit. Um, so first of all, Tara, you know, how did you get started in the work that you do? And what is, um, what is it about your industry that gets you excited? Because I'm excited about your industry. <laughs> Thanks. Um, it really got started when my life started to fall apart and I didn't know what to do to move forward. So I was working a conventional job and um, my marriage was falling apart and it was really, I had this path that I was on and it was clean and clear and I knew the direction I was going and then it was like an atomic bomb um, blew up that path. And so it was really but cool because I had to go back and ask, what would I really like to create? Like, what do I really want to bring to this world? And all those questions started coming up. And then I was also in the place of not being able to articulate what painful experiences were going on in my life. And so I went to the canvas as my healer and my confidant, and it started talking back to me. And the art changed and also my connection to how to help people um, that are going through struggling situations. It really started the, the opening of energy work and coaching as well as using art um, as a healing modality. Yeah, awesome. You know, it's, it's funny because a lot of times when people find their passion, right, it's usually through an experience of, of, of uh, pain, right? Or something that they think that they can't go through. And then all of a sudden they come out like understanding themselves more. So it sounds like that's, you know, that's what happened to you. Um, you and I share, you know, some similar experiences as to what, what I do as well. Um, you know, so it's, it's very, it's just very fulfilling that how something so great can be created from such a, you know, what we thought back then was such a painful experience. Um, so in, your, in growing your business, what was your, what was your biggest challenge, you would say, you know, as an entrepreneur, there's going to be a lot of entrepreneurs on here, so it's always great to hear that we're not alone in, uh, in expanding our business. Um, it was a couple things. One is to remember to have fun. 
like we don't go out to be an entrepreneur to like take the stress and strain with us everywhere um and people are attracted to people who are joyful and fun and the other piece really is um not to lead with sales like not to go into every situation and hope that you're gonna like make them a client or sell them something it's it's really to show up as who i am and receive who the person is in front of me and allow the sales to happen organically and um, I find that that really happens and people tend to not just work with me in one aspect of my business but in multiple <laughs> aspects of my business because I receive who they are and it's a really uplifting um, relationship yeah I, I experienced that with you right I think we started off with just the painting um, and then it went into a coaching session about regarding our family because uh, and back then we were actually blending our families together. <laughs> um, so I love how that just created into and then to a one on one to a body process uh, um, session. And so I love how your your business is just ever flowing. You know, like you said, whatever is happening for that person at that time, you're able to actually you know give some kind of value that will help them through what it is, whatever it is that they're going through, because everyone's different. Everyone's going through so many different things, um, which leads me to my next question. What do you find is, you know, the most challenging things about your clients? What are they trying to go, um, you know, get through whenever you actually meet with them and how do you help them in with the products and services that you provide? I would say that whether it's an art client or a coaching client or a body process client, the main thing is people have lost themselves in the pursuit of helping others. Mm -hmm. Whether it's to do their job at work, to help their family, they don't have an idea of what their unique value is. Just as a being, they understand what their value is in like supplying help to others. So that's really what I do is I get back to the essence of the beauty of who they are, what excites them. Um, Many times they don't even know how to ask, answer the question, like, what would light you up other than helping someone else? <laughs> and getting, getting back to that, that space of nurturing the self and actually seeing, acknowledging their, their, their being translates into helping everybody else because it brings out the joy. So it's a pretty powerful space to bring somebody back to true joy. Yeah, isn't it interesting that like we're we're able to do things for other people, but not for ourselves? Is that something that you think we picked up from, you know, family or people that we've hung around with? Because I find myself, um, you know, always constantly as a mom of four, right? Mom of four, having a household, a business, a team. Um, I feel like you know, a lot of times they're my responsibility, and you made me realize that you know we can't really give something that we can't we don't have ourselves right unless we're happy how is it that we can you know make other well we can't really make other people happy because they're responsible for their own happiness right but you know we try to give them happy experiences um but do you find that you know women especially i feel you know actually get to get themselves in that cycle of just helping other people and where, where do we pick those up from? I think it's all over the place. Um, you know, there's a lot of talk about like serving others. Um, and, and there is a beauty in that, but when you come from the space of emptiness, and so many people do come from the space of emptiness, you're not really serving them. And then my other piece is, I have an interesting point of view or a belief that everyone's an infinite being. So even my children have an infinite knowing. So I get to co-create with them rather than um, help them. <laughs> so I ask a lot of questions and I also receive from them. And it's this space of actually really realizing that we each deserve to receive. And there's a massive power in receiving the knowledge and expertise, even of a child um, as a parent. And so I think from really young, we're all taught to ask the question, what are you going to do when you get older? Mm -hmm. Instead of like, who, like, who are you? Who are you going to be? And then everything else comes out of that. Like who you be actually um, 
is the space that allows us to do a lot of things. I mean, you're an entrepreneur in like many facets <laughs> and you didn't have to just pick one thing. Um, it all flows from who you are and like what your moral code is and how you resonate with the world. Um, but I think when we talk about doing, it's constantly a doing and it, um, and it doesn't relate back to like nurturing the self and overflowing and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, one of the things I teach you know, kids is to be, right? Be and then and then do and then have. Where a lot of people, they think, you know, you have to do it, to have it, and then you be it, right? And so going back to that self, because self, as you had taught me, self-love is like the highest vibration. And so once we understand ourselves, it's a lot easier to understand other people. So going, going there, like what are three things, like quick tips you would tell people like that they could pick up on and do right away? or be right away, right? So that they can actually um, find themselves in you know, having that joy and creating and just living that authenticity. Um, the first one is allow yourself to have fun. You know, like there's so much that comes out of fun, even business. Um, more business comes when you're having fun and enjoying yourself and enjoying the people around you. Um, the next one is ask questions that you cannot answer right away. And what I mean by that is like we jump to conclusions sometimes. And so if we ask a question and we allow the universe, God, whatever you believe in, to like bring awarenesses for something greater than we could conclude right now, mm -hmm. it expands things. Um, and then the third one is choice create. Um, and so what I mean by that is like sitting down and figuring it out and like waiting and waiting and waiting doesn't actually create the life that we, we desire. It's actually being inspired and then moving um, and making that choice that opens up new doors. Yeah. It's, it's amazing how people think that they don't have a choice. <laughs> it's right. Yeah. Even in our financial freedom, you know, is when your passive income is greater than your chosen lifestyle, it is a choice. Because whether you want to live on 2000 per month passive income, 5000 10000 whatever it is, it's your choice. And every day and everything we do, you know, the choices we make, you know, results to whatever it is that we create. But I love how you said that, you know, asking the right questions. Because I find that a lot of people actually make statements instead of asking questions. Um, in, and what happens is that they assume with those statements as opposed to, you know, allowing, like you said, the universe or other people that are meant, you know, to help you through this life to actually get to that answer. So love that. Love that. I'm going to, I'm going to have my, my kids, you know, I always, I always uh, encourage them to ask questions, right? Because <laughs> at that age, you're like, I know <laughs> everything is an I know statement. It's like, ah, I don't know, you know, a lot, a lot better question is, you know, um, uh, what is that? What, is that? what do I ask them? I tell them, you know, to ask, like, I wonder why, right? I wonder why that is instead of I know why that is. So yeah. awesome. So tell us a little bit about your products and services and, um, and what makes you unique, Tara, because I know I, I can actually sit here and talk about you and, and just like, you know, share you with the world as I'm, you know, doing here because you've actually helped us in so many different ways when it comes to our family, our beautiful painting. I should actually, you know, have a picture of our painting. I'm going to post that on Facebook, actually, and um, what you have painted for us. But tell us a little bit about what makes you unique and uh, the, some of the products and services that you uh, provide. Sure. So um, I would say for myself, what makes me unique and probably what hindered me for a little while showing up and offering my products is the fact that um, I'm very empathic and almost a clairvoyant. Like I can see through what's going on with people. And that's one of the reasons why I really love doing energy paintings because I can see what's going on in people's lives. It helps me to tap in and it helps me to, to bring different questions that can um, help the, the person create empowerment and change the things that are going on in their life so that they can have some more freedom. Um, and then the same thing happens in the body processes that I do and also in the, the coaching. And I have a lot of fun because I can work with people like right in town in person and doing a body process or I can work with people like I have some clients in Brazil and some in Portugal and <laughs> it's really fun. These days we have the internet and you can reach anyone 
an energy translate. Like it, it doesn't, like, I don't have to be with somebody touching them to be able to receive everything that's going on inside. Mm. Um, and people find that really helpful um, that they don't have to explain everything. Sometimes they don't have words to explain what's going on. And yet I'm able to find the words or paint the picture or um, other than what else is possible. Yeah. I, and we've, we've experienced that actually after uh, you were, when, during the process of painting our family, you had called us one time. And I was like, how does she know that? <laughs> I was just like, how does she know that's happening in our family, right? And it was just amazing because you felt that energy. And I just feel that, you know, you're very intuitive in that sense. Um, so one of, uh, one of the things I like to ask uh, our entrepreneurs on this show is what, is, what are you most proud of in your business? Definitely the connection with people and watching how they unfold, like really watching somebody fall in love with themselves and know that they're a creator. And most of the people that I actually work with end up having their own businesses afterwards. They like believe in themselves and so much that they want to go out and share whatever their unique thing is in the world. And it's, it's phenomenal for me to watch that happen and to watch them really overflow with joy and light. A lot of people show up and they're really pretty, almost blank in their eyes. And to watch the, like their eyes and like smiles and all that really happen anywhere after that is pretty profound. Awesome. I know you had, you had done an art class online right with uh with families and our kids were uh were actually painting and it was even interesting for me as much as i feel that i know them and how you interpreted what they were painting and so i was like oh that's very interesting so um so you know i've watched them actually unfold right there just by how they're painting how one you know they, and they're all different you know they're all different you could tell who the fun one is you can tell who's a systematic person, you know, of uh, child is. And I'm like, wow. Like, even in their painting, it shows what, you know, who they are and um, who are they, you know, who, who they're becoming to be. Um, so that really helps a lot. So I, I, I love, you know, seeing my own kids unfold through your work. Um, so, so right now we're going to do like a flash round um, questions, quick questions about faith, family, fitness, finance, fun, freedom. Those are our values of our company those are the values of uh, you know of what we actually put out there our own family and so it's always fun to find out what you know what our um our guests here on the show you know have to say about those values so number one what was one belief that drove your faith whether it's in personal uh, oh sure um what you think is impossible is totally possible when you believe awesome and what is one thing you love about your family <laughs> one thing I would definitely um, the fact that I co-create with my children rather than parent like I really they they show up as amazing beings and knowers it's phenomenal nice yes I want to co-create more with my kids too I know I'm pro I, I'm doing that already but to actually explore that more instead of being that parent and just that mother figure I'd love to, uh, you know, to explore a lot more of that. So what's your favorite fitness routine, morning or night, or personal habit that contributes to your success? Um, I definitely love yoga. The thing that I would say is asking my body what it desires today is my very favorite thing. Um, because it may change, and sometimes we stay stagnant. And so I really like to, like, let my body change it up. Nice. And in finance, what's the best money finance advice you've ever received? Um, I would say that money is everywhere is what I was told at one point. And so you have to find a way that you can offer something that people w are willing to pay for because it's, it's abundant. It's yeah. Not enough. Yeah. It's, it's just energy. It's out there and we're all just, you know, passing it around so it depends on who actually wants it right <laughs> and to ask for it and add value that you know that the money will come in um so in fun which you talked about a lot about having fun in business right what do you love to do for fun when you're not working and i know you have you're you're having fun when you're working too but when you're not working 
Yeah, um, definitely. I love to be with my kids and um, my my boyfriend's kids and my boyfriend. Like doing anything, I really like to be active. So anything from painting to snowboarding to playing in the snow, laughing, whatever, anything with them. Awesome. And what's the best piece of advice you've ever received about freedom? About freedom to be like being me actually changes the world and um, to be yourself is the, the greatest freedom you could ever do. Nice, nice. So you always say you'll be yourself. Everyone else is taken. That's one of my favorite. Right? <laughs> I love it. right? It's like, why be someone else? <laughs> So a bonus question. I love the quote and I've always, I'm a firm believer of this, that you can tell a lot about a person by the books they read and the people they hang around with. So if you could recommend one book, one or two books to our listeners, what would that be and why? Um, one book that took me a long time to read because I didn't like the title was Creating Money, Money um, Attracting Abundance. I think a lot of people almost have a repelling idea with money. It's an interesting thing. And as soon as I read the book, I was like, under the, you know, what you just said earlier, it's, it's energy. And it's actually a way, a vehicle of connecting to other people. And so it completely changed my whole mindset on how I show up in regards to money, but also with other people. Um, so that one was massive. And then I also love the book Power Versus Force by Dr. Hawkins. Um, and that one was pretty pivotal because it talks about the different vibrations that people are at. Mm. And one of the, the main ones is as we go up, there's reason is right before um, unconditional love. And unconditional not love cannot be explained. It is not reasonable. It goes beyond reason. And I was like, just, just that tiny yeah. little part. <laughs> Isn't that so true? And so there's many scientists that only stayed in reason because they couldn't explain the things that were unexplainable, which are mm. up here in the space of love. Wow. And, yeah, right? Wow. Um, so that really transformed my life. And the book is way bigger than that, but that, that was the main thing that I took away from it. I was like, some things in this world are you cannot explain, and yet they're totally real, and they actually are profound and change the world. Yeah. That's a that's an awesome book. I might actually, you know, read that one. <laughs> I should put that on my list of reads to do. And about money, you know, I, you know, I actually, you know, back then, I, uh, money was a taboo subject, and I think that's why I teach it because I love talking about it. And people are like, "How do you teach it? How do you like just love talking and teaching kids about it?" And you know, it's kind of like like you mentioned, like you know, unfolding into and creating, you know, with money. Because without money, you know, money is just a tool. It's a tool to actually go out there and help people. And if people would just shift their mindset on that, and it's, they're not so, um, you know, so obsessed with, like, how much is in their bank account and, like, the, you know, the, the technical portion of the, the amount. And if they could just see that as a tool to actually go out there and, and help people help themselves and serve other people, you know, I think that would be a really big thing and just start talking about it. So. Um, mm -hmm. So second question, if you could spend time with one person living or past, who would it be? Uh, it's always the answer to this is my dad. Mm -hmm. Dad passed away about five years ago mm -hmm. and he was probably my best friend and um, I would love to spend even one more day with him and, and have him meet my kids again. And <laughs> 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 It's amazing. We have really wise people around us. It doesn't always have to be someone famous. Like it can be life changers, just the, the people that we have in our lives. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm sure your dad is watching over you very proud of what you've you know created and who you've become and everything that you're doing in this world. Yeah. I, I just, I just love you, Tara. You know, one of my, um, one of my, uh, my favorite things about you is that you're just very authentic and genuine and you accept people. That was, that's a big thing. Like you accept and love people just for who they are, where there's like no judgment, right? <laughs> Whatever is happening in other people's lives or in my life, right? It's just, that's, I think that is what makes, to me, that's what makes you very unique 
and it's you're just very easy to actually like talk to because of that um, and confide confide in and we all need people and friends to actually confide in and to be able to accept us for who we are because I honestly feel that that you know at the very core that's what people just really want you know to be accepted and loved regardless of, of their path and so so I feel like maybe you got a little bit of that from your dad Oh, for sure. Yeah. My dad was definitely in the face of non-judgment. And I, I'm so glad that you picked up on that because I think that, that is massive. Like, to be in the space of somebody that's non-judgmental expands everything, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. We can go through, like, moments where it stinks and sucks and it goes away so much faster. Yeah. So having that safe place, you know, and even for children, you know, I feel with, with our kids – I always tell them, you know, whenever you feel that, you know, mommy's going to get mad, right, about something, but I want you to be able to share with me what you can say is something to the fact that, you know, I want to share something with you, however, I'm afraid that you might get mad. And that actually keeps me accountable, like, okay, you know, create that space of safety and no judgments and that, you know, be grateful that they're sharing it with, with me, right? <laughs> Instead of me kind of being blindsided of whatever it is that they did. So, um, so I love that. And that I just want to, you know, put that out there as far as like what I love most about you is that just that creating that space of non-judgmental non and being non-judgmental and also having that safe space. Um, which I feel is so important to, to be able to create and expand and be myself. Um, so, so thank you. Thank you for, for being on the show. Um, any last thing, like, you know, I know that, you know, sometimes, you know, there's people out here that's watching this that want to know a little bit about how they can get involved with you. Do you have an offer, um, you know, something that they could quickly, you know, uh, you know, kind of get involved in, engage with you a little bit further? Yeah, I created, uh, a private Facebook group just for this. I found that a lot of people needed something almost daily. It's, it's, it's really about four to five days a week where I do Facebook lives. And it's private because people share a lot of things that are pretty vulnerable in it. Mm. And we, we actually ask questions and I share tools and watch people's lives unfold. So it's a monthly subscription and um, there's a special price for people who watch your show and are part of your group. <laughs> um, um, so I have that offer for, the, for you guys. And then also what's part of it is every single month I do two, between two and four online classes. And at least two of those are free for the people in the month, monthly subscription. Um, it's anywhere from the the art class that you talked about to I do tutorials on um, Wix and then I also do energy classes where it helps people to, to move forward and that's much more interactive. Nice. So, yeah. Awesome. So if any of you watching wants to, you know, connect with, with Tara here or take her up on her offer, please contact her and um, can you share our, your information, Tara? What's the best way to get a hold of you? Sure. Definitely the email is probably great. It's tara.mccullum at gmail.com. And then also through Facebook is fantastic. So if you want to find me on Facebook, um, Tara McCullum or Tara McCullum CLC is my um, pro page. And you can always message me and I can direct you. Probably the easiest way that we can, we can start interacting as well. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So thank you so much in advance for your time, Tara, and your expertise and all the amazing value you've given here to our viewers. I really enjoyed our conversation today and all the insights that you had to share with us. And I'm sure everyone here enjoyed it as well. So until next time, go out there and live with passion, love unconditionally, and make a difference. Bye now. Oh, thank you so much, Melanie. Thanks. You're welcome.